thank you so much for joining us today, Eve. Um, it's really lovely to have you here um, to share about your changed life um, as a Christian. Um, for those of us who, who don't don't know you, um, maybe could you introduce yourself a little bit? Tell us a bit about yourself. That'd be great. Hi, I'm Eve. Um, I'm from Stirling. Um, I'm actually from a small village called Bannockburn, and um, growing up there wasn't any. Um, I didn't have any like close friends who were a uh, Christian, but um, my mum was big support to me. My mum is um, she is Christian. Um, my dad he isn't. Um, but. Yeah, my, my family, I wouldn't say, are very Christian at all. Um, and yeah, I didn't have anyone close to me that was a major positive influence, I guess. Okay. Eve, did you, um, growing up in Stirling, did you go to church as a, as a child? So I remember going to church maybe once or twice a month, um... I didn't really have a relationship with God at all. I just went because like it was the right thing to do and um yeah, um I remember just really being distant from God mm. as a child. Yeah. Did you enjoy church? What was it like um, when you were young? So it was I went to church more for um my family mm. um and because someone from my extended family went to church and um, I, but but we just went and we didn't really um, enjoy going. Mm, okay. It wasn't something that was like fun for us. No. We just kind of like were dragged there occasionally. <laughs> okay. And and yeah. That's probably quite a common story to be yeah, honest. Yeah. yeah. And what about when you were in like high school? Did you, you keep going every few weeks or months or did you stop going? Um so I I stopped going to church um when I was nine or ten years okay. old. Right. Um so when I was um nine years old that's when I first became ill and I was really um, sick for um, five years in total. Um, so I was cured when I was 14, and I'm so thankful that I, I was cured, and um, I'm thankful to God. However, I didn't, like, I didn't see that at the time at all. Um, I quickly, in my illness, I quickly turned away from God, um, like, when I was nine or ten, I completely fell away from uh, everything that Jesus teaches as well, and I stopped going to church. Um, I was really lost, and then when I was um fourteen and cured, um, that's honestly I really did struggle. Mm -hmm. Um, and I struggled in my teenagers and all through high school basically because I was so lost. Um. I had a lot of feelings of hopelessness and unworthiness mm -hmm. and I was honestly really sad and um, yeah. and everything. Mm. So uh, I didn't go to church at all like when I was a teenager. Yeah. And I guess having like serious health problems as as well as like not really knowing the Lord or knowing God and his yeah, all that yeah. he is that that must have been very difficult for you. And so once you had got better um, and you find, like you said, you find school difficult, did you then go to university? What happened after that? Yeah, so um, when I was 17, I decided though to come to university to do occupational therapy. I thought that by coming to university and doing a degree, which I did, I did love the work that occupational therapists do and and that I thought that by coming I would everything would fi be fixed and I wouldn't have these feelings of hopelessness and unworthiness and that. Um and it honestly it, it didn't um, I was still really lost and in my first year of uni I really did struggle with things. Mm. Um I really um thought about dropping out at the end of my first year of uni. Um, I, I didn't see um, the value of me feeling um, 
that unworthy compared mm. to others and uh, not as good as others. Um, so I was considering dropping out. And so that was quite, you must have got to a, like a really difficult place to be considering dropping out of uni altogether. So what happened then in your, your first year that made you, so, you stop? So um, at, at the end of my first year, um, I started to think about um, hope a lot because this was something I didn't have at all. And um, I, I thought about where I could find this from and I was really searching for answers and things. And um, I, I kept seeing like um, things like resting in the presence of the Lord and um, trusting in Him and things like that. And I was a bit um like curious about that. Um, where, sorry, where did you see those? Eve? I I, did you I, see I pictures? just pictures like seen pictures okay. and I seen like I seen um uh, when I was researching about um where I could find hope and yeah. things like oh like online uh, sorry people, yeah yeah online sorry um yeah people I was seeing a lot of things that were talking about like um placing your hoping God and like knowing that he's bigger mm. and yeah so I was really curious about um about where I could find hope and if that could be in, in the Lord and so I, I looked more into into faith and belief systems and, and God and everything but Christianity was the only like the only religion that um and belief system that I could um, see that would offer me uh, that hope that made sense because I felt th- that um, in others, you know, other religions as and things, um, you have to work to prove your worth really mm. and that was what I was struggling with in particular and I really came to trust um, that he loved me like no matter what, because mm. I did feel that um, there was more to this world than just, like, my feelings of um, despair, really, yeah. and, um, like, unworthiness. So, um, trusting him in him was the big um, change of my life. Yeah, that sounds amazing. So, Eve, what was it that you had read or heard? So, so how did that process happen? So you didn't just kind of wake up one day and sort of put your faith in Jesus. What what was it that you did to, to discover this truth about Jesus? Yeah, so um, I feel like when um, I did um, start to look to, um, to, to think about hope and things like that, um, I, I looked at the Bible and I um just was was re- reading that and the things there were making sense to me um helping me to to see that um he is like available to anyone and um I felt that um it was really speaking to me I spoke to a couple of people that I knew through the university who were Christians mm. um and I felt like um they had something that I didn't Mm. and um so I just I um listened to what they had to say and one um one of my friends did invite me along to like church and uh, it was actually this church and I had been obviously to to church like before in the past but I hadn't really um like I hadn't had that like um, relationship with with God and um, I felt something different about uh, about this church. So I, yeah, I started to look more into um, faith and um, look at it online and um, look at it through the Bible and um, through speaking to to others. Yeah, and so um, how I mean I don't know if like you can you can't base it all on your feelings, but like. What was it like to to know that not just God loved you, but that God had died for you so that you could be forgiven? When you discovered that, was was it kind of a, a process of like sort of learning and trusting in that, or how did how did you come to that sort of realization and trust that 
yeah, God loved you, but also had died for you. And was um, it? So I would say that it was more like a process. Mm. Um, I don't really think. I don't think there was just like a specific time that mm. I came to to faith. Yeah. Um, I think it was over like coming to. I I did feel um so like lost and so um down about um life and things. Um, I think it was over time. Like I kept l- looking at the word and and um listening to what other people had to say and and things. Um. And I, I felt like it was kind of like built up over time. Wonderful. And, and yeah, um, which is amazing because I, I felt like it was, it was such a, I was feeling like so, um, uh, because it was um feeling so like lost and that it was like a big thing to like come back from that. So yeah. like. It was kind of like a long process, yeah. but yeah, I'm so glad that I did. That's wonderful. And Eve, what difference does it make knowing mm-hmm. Jesus t- today? Because I understand that you've got some un- ongoing health issues um, that you cope with, I-, I think, very well. And what difference does it make when you're thinking about your health and the future? So, um... So I think that um since coming to faith in that um it's really helped change um my outlook on life. It's really helped to to change the, all my values and perspectives on life. Um and I think just by knowing that I am like loved and um accepted that really helps me to see that I'm like why then I'm wor- it is like worth me while me being here and that um and and yeah um I feel like uh, the hope that uh, Christ brings in that it uh, um really helps me um to know that there is like God does have a plan for mm. my life and um He is like always there for. To, to help like protect mm. me and um get me through life and that um I feel um that it's it's good because I can put like my trust in gro- in God um and really um trust that He knows what He's doing and um um He's got all under control. I feel like uh. I, I don't have to to be in control myself, obviously, and uh, that that God does um know what He is doing, and I find that a great comfort um to me um mm. I feel I feel like it's also helpful to have like other Christians about um because they're encouraging and um they're encouraging throughout every like aspect and situation of your life and um, that you go through it and um knowing that um other people are supporting you and pointing you towards God who is a loving a loving God is is really helpful as well. Um yeah so I'm just I'm so thankful to for everything that's amazing yeah. Eve it's so great to hear and you know for some people listening they might be feeling a little bit like you used to feel before you came to know the Lord and mm. feeling a bit hopeless and maybe feeling a little bit like what's the point of their life or what's the value of their mm. life and how might you how might you encourage them or how would you want to encourage them to yeah so turning to to God completely changed my life and completely changed my life for the better. It helped to open my eyes to um God's love and how He cares for us at all, and and it helped me to see the um the value of um me and um helped me to see um 
the the value of like life and things mm. um i think to anyone who's like struggling and things in in their life um just like looking for acceptance and that i think um knowing god's acceptance and knowing his grace and especially if they're they're going um through um things that are way beyond their control mm. and really hard to deal with it's it's amazing knowing that there is like a god up there who um is bigger than all your your problems mm. and your um and what you have to deal with and things, um, it's amazing knowing that you can like put your trust in him and really um, he, he is your strong stronghold in that and um, he is your um, rock and things mm. and um, just really um, knowing that he is um, there for you, he can handle all things and yeah, that's so wonderful. I know that's really wonderful to hear, Eve. And yeah, I think you are a great example to so many of us of like just looking to the Lord and trusting in Him, whatever's going on in your life, that we can we know He's good mm -hmm. and He loves you. And yeah, that's Absolutely. really wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing so openly and honestly. It's really, really helpful and encouraging to hear. So yeah, mm -hmm. thanks, Eve.